Harry. Oh. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Hey, uh, eh, Mr. President. <laughs> How things are going with Haig? Ah, so far, it's smooth sailing. Mm. I found an expert on China from France. I'm gonna bring him to uh, Washington, D.C. Oh. Who is he? What's his name? Mm. His name is Andre Mauro. His anti-memoirs encompasses a lot about Mao and Joe. Since the 30s, he's maintained contact on and off with them. Mm. He even went to China as France's Minister of Culture. Mm. Mm. Oh, where is he? Bring him to me. Mm. Of course. Please, allow me to introduce André Mauro. He's the famous French president. Nice to meet I'm you, just telling you Mr. About. President. Nice to meet you, Mr. Mauro. Please have a seat. Such a pleasure. <sighs> Mr. Mauro, I heard a lot about you. You're a China expert, so can you give me a crash course of my upcoming visit to China? I'm really flattered, Mr. President. What do you want to know? My answers may not always be correct. Have you met Mao? I have. An extraordinary man. You wouldn't have expected that Mao accept to receive a US president a couple of years ago, would you? Came at no surprise to me. General de Gaulle had always been wishing to visit China and uh, have talks with Mao. It's a pity he didn't make it. Mm. And how do you believe in Chinese faith in communism? I think the Chinese have no faith in whatsoever ideology. They believe in China, first and foremost. And what's your impressions about Mao? An extraordinary man, indeed. You are sure you get a feel of oriental mysticism around him. Hmm. Like many great men, I presume, such as Lincoln. Ooh. Five years ago, when I met Mao, one of his biggest concerns was the ability of Americans or Russians to ruin China's industrial heartland with merely 10 nuclear bombs and set China back 50 years. Hmm. Mao told me that if he had six nuclear bombs in his hand, nobody dared bomb his cities. If he had six nuclear bombs in his hands. What does he mean? I have no clue. He also stressed would never ever drop nuclear bombs on China. Really? Yes. Not all his words were understandable to me. I just report to you what he had said. You know, more often than not, it is those words that are not easy to understand that matter most. Indeed. Mr. Morrow, but really a pleasure to meet you. You are the Chinese experts. Really, thank you very much for your visit. Mr. President, what you are set out to do is the most important thing in this century. I cannot but recall all those adventurers in the 16th century who set sail for a specific destination but ended up in a totally different place. I will be the first sitting US president setting foot in the Chinese soil. It's just like an expedition to the moon. I'm not General de Gaulle, but I know what he would say in this moment. What? He would say, all those who understand what you are doing will feel indebted to you. <sighs> Thank you very much for the visit, Mr. Morrow. It was a great pleasure. My pleasure, Mr. President. Dr. Kissinger, Mr. Morrow.
Coach, we need a corps commander, not a casualty. Can you see Captain Barton Zhang Jun now? Ah, is this not Ni Ge Song Yao Lai? Bu Bu Ke. Hey, Ge Ling. 我让您给我找的书找到了吧？找到了，这个呀是目前出版的几本尼克松传记，还有呢，他本人写的《六四危机》。啊，你对尼克松这个人怎么看呢？他这个人吧，很富有冒险精神，一直以来呢，他都是以反攻立场名声大噪的。但这回却要扭转二十年来美国的外交政策，主动来中国。在他的政治生涯当中，遇到过不少的挫折，但他从来没有认过输。这点儿倒是跟我很像。Ramon and his tank and me and mine. We'd stop about twenty paces, we'd get out and shake hands, and we'd button up and we'd do battle, just the two of us. 我挺喜欢尼克松这个人。还有一件事，尼克松在他就任之后，选了三位他所仰慕的前任总统肖像挂在白宫里头。一位是艾森豪威尔，另一位是老罗斯福，这二位呢都是共和党人士。另一位是民主党人威尔逊。这可没有意思。If you don't, the damn Arabs will dig them up and just get their clothes. Yes, sir. Especially this Vyar's grave. Our graves aren't going to disappear like everybody else has been fought here. This is a great Roman thinker. Carthaginian. Liang, now the outside world is looking at Nicholson's fall. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. There are a lot of things. But one of the most famous comments is that Nicholson is fighting with a sword. 哎，看来啊，我要给尼克松解解围呀。有句话，我想当面跟你说。什么悄悄话，还要当面说呀？尼克松总统马上就要来访问，我知道你肩上的担子很重，但是恩来，你毕竟已经是七十多岁的人了，不再是二三十年前的你，所以啊，现在有些事情能让别人去做的。就不要总是事无巨细，举轻若重，啊！累，我倒不怕，怕的是心累呀、啊。发生了什么事吗？有些人呐、啊，自我的思想还是很严重，就连……为尼克松放话准备的美国乐曲，也被有些人指责为为美帝国主义唱赞歌。恩来，你就别再为这些事儿烦心了。你做的这些事情啊，都是为了国家，为了人民，丝毫没有为自己。无论过去多少年，历史自有公论。
，人民自有公论。我是周恩来，总理，陈老总去世了，留下刚才什么？你说什么？陈老总去世了？怎么会呀、啊？我前几天去医院看他，他还说手术很成功，很乐观呢、啊。你们，是我没有保护好陈毅老总啊！这些年，外交方面的工作，让他费尽了心血呀。主席，哦，恩来来了，我有两件事情要向您汇报一下。什么事？说吧。第一件事情就是关于尼克松访华的，我和黑格将军一再出商，经过尼克松亲自拍板，在尼克松访华期间的决定。使用我方的飞机和汽车。呃，这在美国，可能是破天荒的头一次啊。关于美方媒体记者随行采访的事情，现在有两千多份记者的申请函涌向了白宫。嗯。我们给他的限额是八百人，他们希望能够再扩大一些。哦，可以考虑放宽一些。尼克松是想通过媒体告诉全世界，他的中国之行是伟大的明智之举嘛。还有尼克松。要访问的北京、上海、杭州，有好多大到美帝国主义的标语，是不是在他来之前要撤掉啊？不用拿掉，实事求是嘛。这是我们中国老百姓对美帝国主义的态度，不一定是对他尼克松的嘛。还有一件事情，就是关于陈老总的追悼会，什么时间召开，什么人参加，规模搞多大？外交部报了一个请示件，我看就按他们的意见办吧。陈毅的最后职务是副总理兼外交部长。可以安排外交部多去一些人，还有军队
也可以去一些人。他毕竟是元帅嘛。吃饭呀，这早饭就没吃，再弄下去身体怎么受得了呀？现在几点了？
一点半了。主席，要不您就稍微吃点吧。这饭菜都凉了，我再去给您热热。备车。去参加陈毅同志追悼会。主席。什么？毛主席要出席陈毅同志的追悼会？好，好，我立刻安排。快！毛主席要参加陈毅同志的追悼会。追悼会的规格要提高，你马上通知在京的政治局委员和部委员，务必出席陈毅同志的追悼会。还有，通知苏秦民副主席、全国人大、政协、国防委员会的同志，凡是邀请参加陈毅同志追悼会的，都要参加。是。转告西汉鲁克亲王，如果他愿意，请他出席陈毅同志的追悼会，我们将由国家领导人出席。赵谦，主席，主席，您怎么也来了？我也来悼念陈毅同志。陈毅是个好同志啊。我们从井冈山的时候就在一起了。他对中国革命和世界革命做出过贡献，立了功啊！谢谢主席。收到人来了，毛总。哦，主席啊，老总啊，你怎么来的呢？这么早，朱熹是最早来参加追悼会的。张杰，老总，张杰，朱熹，呃，西哈努克殿下，你和陈毅同志打交道比较多。小曹，没想到毛主席也参加了陈老总的追悼会啊！可惜啊，陈老总走得太早了。是啊，恩来，你也要注意自己的身体。来，坐这儿，我有件事儿要问问你。什么事？恩来，今天吴杰平院长告诉我说
，你最近这段时间尿血的情况已经很严重了，是这样吗？我要听大夫夸大其词。最近一段时间比较忙，着急上火，你要有些浑浊，不是什么大事，啊。恩来，你要知道，你的身体不是你自己的，也是党和人民的。小张，正因为我把自己交给了党和人民，所以我不。最近，你可送我来访华，内政外交，千头万绪，我走不开呀、啊。我知道，国家离不开你，但是恩来，你要记住，磨刀不误砍柴工啊！啊，我知道。等完过一阵子，我就住院治疗，放心吧。嗯My dear, how was your day? Hey, it was fantastic. Mm. By the way, Daddy, are you going to China tomorrow? Yes. You know the one who landed on the moon on the Apollo aircraft, left a sentence on a monument there. We came in peace for all mankind. Two days, it applies to me as well. For the welfare of the humankind, I'm going to China, a secret and ancient world from far away. I wish I could go with your father. Could you take me along, please? Not this time, my dear. Mm -hmm. But I believe you will have the opportunity to go there I... once the U.S. and China improve their relations. So it means I, I should stay here for a while? You stay here for a while. And you will be a good girl, I'm sure. And I will travel for about 15 days. Oh, so long. Ah, we're going to Guam, then Shanghai, then Beijing. Okay? So, okay. Hey, Tony. When will we arrive in Beijing? It will be 11.30 Beijing time. Now this is a special arrangement by Zhou Enlai. It will be prime time for Americans who will be watching TV at night. Our reporters are ready. They will broadcast your actions live via satellite to the whole world once you get off the plane. I heard the rumor that former Secretary of State John Dulles refused to take hand with Zhou Henlai during the Geneva's conference in 1954. 
He also ordered the entire American delegation to not shake hands with a member of the Chinese delegation. It badly hurt Joe. Now I'm in China. I'm going to whip off all this unpleasantness hampering the China-US relation. So when we get off the plane, all our men should stay in the cabin. They shall not go with me. I've made some arrangements, sir, to make sure nothing goes wrong. Of course. When we take off, you stay at the cabin door, stopping anyone from following us. Yes, sir. I suddenly feel like an adventurer. I engage in a journey of philosophical discovery, like the ancient geographic discovery, whose future is uncertain, destination unknown, just like an adventurer. Harry, do you believe the Chinese will overcome their old decades of hostility towards America and make my trip successful? Please, rest assured, Mr. President, if we've arranged every detail for the Chinese, the American public, they will be inspired by your courage and your originality. And will I meet Mao Zedong in person? I, I think that you will, sir. Well, they haven't given a reply yet. If we return without meeting with Mao Zedong, my visit in China will be a total failure and embarrass the American government. That should not happen, sir. If, by chance, you cannot arrange a meeting for the Mao, I believe that it will only be construed that he has a serious medical condition. Well, I'm taking a serious gamble now. God bless me, and God bless America. Tusie, 他说：“你这么早来干什么呀？快回去吧。”主席啊，你赶快好起来吧，你可从中央来了，他很想见你。啊。来扶我起来主席你还是先躺着吧这腿还没消肿呢哎哎李克松总统是今天到北京吧他到了吗现在在什么地方
刚刚总理已经来过电话了，中午十一点的时候，尼克松总统就到了，现在已经入住钓鱼台国宾馆了。啊，告诉恩来，我现在就要见尼克松总统。主席，哎，可是您的身体现在不适合接见外宾啊。哎，我说了，让他们现在就来。Such an exhausting trip, huh? Oh, but this trip to China is truly wonderful. Yes, it is. Oh, Henry, what a surprise. Oh, I have urgent business with the president. Of course, come in. Henry, what's going on? Joel has just informed us that Chairman Mao wants to meet right now. Fantastic. Where are we going to meet? In their great hall of people? Well, due to the Chairman Mao's health condition, he's now only accepting foreign heads of state at his private residence in Zhongnan. Meeting between the Chinese and the U.S. heads of state is a real solemn event. How could it be held in a bedroom? Besides, we just arrived in Beijing. I was about to have a bath to refresh me after a long trip. Don't you think it's a little bit polite to make such a move? Mr. President, the historical significance of a meeting with Chairman Mao that far outweighs any etiquette issues. Would you not agree? Mm. Now, Joe is waiting for us. Mr. President, I'm afraid that if we let this opportunity to slip through our fingers, you may not get another chance to meet with Chairman Mao during this visit. Just the two of us? Joe is waiting now, and the car is already downstairs. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>主席，您现在的身体状况很不适合接待外宾。哎，你们设法马克思突然把我叫走了。如果您执意要接见尼克松，时间最好控制在十五分钟之内。哦，主席，主席，尼克松的车队已经到了中南海了。哦。把主席的鞋拿来。哎，你们呢，都别跟着我啊！哎，主席，嗯、换鞋。嗯、Harry, did you come to that place during your last visit? No, sir, but I can feel a mysterious atmosphere within these red walls. Harry, what do you think I should talk with Mao and see him? It's very hard to say, sir. They say that Mao has a very peculiar sense of humor. He's the complete opposite of Joe, who's considered very stern. Yes, and feels strangely even nervous. I didn't even have had such a feeling when I delivered my own Joe speech. <laughs> It's a bit like landing on the moon, eh, sir? Meeting Mao is like landing on the moon. Chairman Mao, such a pleasure to meet you. Chairman Mao, I was unable to meet you during my first two trips. I'm so happy I've had a chance to meet with you now.
谁先相测我们？